All right, we're going to fillet the sardine. The partially that we're going to use a the knife, but the rest of the part we're going to use a our finger to open up fillet the whole fish. It's called a tebiraki. You can use this technique for it, the really super good fresh sardine only. First of all, we're going to move on to the inside of the sink and let's try to get the scale off. Right, you can use a knife edge to descale the fish. When we descaling, try to move your knife tail towards the head. And okay, that's the gently, okay, just to apply the knife and descaling. Tail towards the head. Tail towards the head. After you descale it, wash off gently and let's move on the cutting board. Right. From here, partially we're going to use a knife. First thing is that we're going to cut the head off and also like open up the belly. Okay, and then to try to get the guts out. We're going to do it the whole problem, the procedure by the using the knife. Let's try to cut off the head. You can go ahead and cut off the head right here. Straight is okay for this fish. Right, and leave the tail away and we're going to cut them off this is right there actually the belly of the sardine is not that much edible and so like if we're going to cut it off good is okay so you can go ahead cut them off a good amount then use it the tip of your knife to squeeze them out all these guts You can go ahead, come off the head, leave the tail away, and you're going to cut belly part off. Then just going to squeeze them out the all the belly guts. Let's move over to the sink and let's try to clean up everything. Go ahead, clean up your cutting board. At the same time, we're going to clean up the inside of the belly because okay, there's the spleen, which is the, you know, mainly there's a blood line right there. Okay, so like, you're gonna apply your the index finger gently and over. Go ahead, take the extra guts off and plus you're going to clean up inside of belly. Make sure you have the index finger. Okay, you're going to use the belly of your index finger. Gently rub inside of the Saldine's belly and it's just going to clean up everything properly over here. This procedure is super important for filet at the good fish. And let's move back to the cutting table. After you wash off with the tap water, make sure like you're going to wipe off the moist because all those moist off from the tap water actually spoiling the fish so just make sure okay, you're going to let them cut them off the tap water and at the same time go ahead clean up everything nicely gently all right from here we're gonna apply this is like a two knife shots Go ahead, cut off the tail. You can go ahead, cut off the tail. And then from here, this is the right hand side of the meat. 
the belly part, okay, you can go ahead and cut it first. Just to make it the little entry cuts. And you're going to also apply, there's a fin line, and then you're going to apply one more knife shots on the other side. One, two. Same thing. Gonna apply knife little marks to make the little entry cuts. And you're gonna apply one more shot on the other side of the fin. It's just to make it the really opening spot. Okay, that's like how you can put your finger in right through the bone easily from right there. After you make a little entry spot right there, we're going to apply our index finger right on the bone and you're going to slide your index finger right above the bone and you're just gonna slide, slide, slide all the way to the torso of the head. You can place your index finger right along on their bone. Then go ahead, slide your knife, the finger, right above on top of the bone. Slowly, and you can go ahead, slide your finger all the way to the torso of the head. Okay, at the same time, right here, okay, you probably feel it like a belly bones right there belly bones gonna be kind of pops off from the meat then slide your the finger belly of the finger slide all over on the bone and you leave it up to the, the skin and that's the how you're going to flay and take all these bones off from the meat. All right, same thing, you're going to do the other side. You can go ahead, feel the bone with your finger again, slide over, you're gonna slide the up back side of the bone and slide it, slide it, all the way to the torso of the head. And you can go ahead, leave up to the skin. Then you can go ahead, pull this bone itself all the way towards the detail. And you can serve, okay, deep fry this bone part and serve as a bone cracker. After you pull that the whole bones off, here's the belly. You're going to slide, use it the whole length of your knife. Go ahead, slide your knife. Go ahead, slide your knife all the way to the end of the belly and you can go ahead and detach it. You can do the same thing. Either you can go slide all the way towards to the right or you can flip your fish and you can do the exactly same move. This is how we open up the inflate the saldine by the finger. So you're gonna apply your the finger over to the bone and slide your belly of your finger along by the bone. Go ahead, put your finger in. Okay, feel that the bone first. Then you're going to slide your finger right on top of the bone and slide all the way to the close to the back. Let's go ahead, put your fingers, slide, slide, all the way in. Slide your belly all the way up to the skin. That's the how you can pull out the whole 
bones are from the meat. We're going to do exactly the same thing for the opposite side. You can go ahead and apply your finger. Either way, nail could be against to the bone or belly could be against to the bone either way. Go ahead, slice your finger right above it, right along by the bone. Slightly, then make sure okay, you're going to slide your finger along by the bones. All right, then you can go ahead and pull the whole bones. Okay. After you fillet, bite the finger and take the, all the bones off, you can go ahead trim off the belly part go ahead slide your knife slide your knife this is how we flay the sardine.